What's up friends? Welcome back for another T-Mac Strong Workout. I'm pumped per the usual, so I hope you are too. And if you're not, let's pump it up, take a little drink of your coffee, and let's get to work. Are you ready? Air thumbs up, here we go. All right, we're starting with heel taps, just standing. So we're just gonna tap our heel here, alternating right and left, just from the standing position. I call this the tap it workout, so there's gonna be a lot of taps, okay? Not like tap dancing, but if you wanna do that, that's also cool. I wasn't much of a tap dancer, but I can tap my heels and my toes and my shoulders. <laughs> Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Three seconds, come on team. All right, now we're gonna go toe taps just in front. So we're just tapping the toes and you can pick up the pace if you want here. We're just tapping out in front. If you want, you can just step and tap. That's fine too. So, I can't always guarantee sweat in these workouts, but I can guarantee some dad jokes. So hopefully you will at least laugh and work your core a little bit, okay? Get a couple more taps and you got five seconds to go. In three, two, one, nice. I think I'm gonna add taps a lot because it really gets my energy up. All right, side shuffle. So use the length of your mat or towel and tap it down. So you're gonna shuffle, shuffle, tap the mat, shuffle, shuffle, tap the towel, Shuffle, shuffle, tap the sand. I don't know where you are, but there's sand here inside. Can you believe that? Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Come on, 10 seconds. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. If you want, you can just shuffle. You don't even have to tap. You can air tap it out if you want. Come on, three seconds to go. Shuffle, shuffle, tap, and rest. All right, now we're gonna go broad jump, back pedal. If you have any issues with your knees, any pain in the knees, go step, 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 and then back pedal. Step, 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 and then back pedal. If your knees are good, then let's get a broad jump, land nice in the squat position, and run it back, okay? Land nice and loaded there, run it back. You got five seconds to go, one more here. Broad jump, and run it back. Heart rate up, ready for this workout? I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with kettlebell sumo squat and high pull. So this is a kettlebell combo, sumo squat, Toes point, 45 degree angle here. We're gonna go down into a squat. And as we come up, all in one motion, high pull. Elbows to the sky, right under the chin here with the handle. Good, squat it down, come up, pull. So you're gonna be squeezing through the glutes here. Let me show you from the side. Your feet are gonna be wider than your mat, wider than hip distance there. Toes point out, 45 degree angle. Squat it down, bell is toward the ground. So a lot of the ones we had been doing in the past, we had the bell up. This time, we want bell down. Squat, and then pull straight up, elbows to the sky. Good, perfect. Squat, pull. Eight seconds to go, team. You got this. Keep it going. Squat, high pull, elbows to the sky. Two, one, and rest. Okay, next, we have the kettlebell deadlift. So, feet flat, toes point forward. In a squat, your glutes go down toward the ground. But in this deadlift, I want your glutes to shoot back behind you. So as you lean forward, you're gonna feel a pull in those hamstrings, and then we're gonna come up. So for you, maybe today, it just is to your knees, and then you feel it, and you come up. Maybe we're gonna make it down to the shins before we come up, or maybe we make it all the way down to the ground. The thing about making it down to the ground is you wanna make sure your back, your spine is neutral and flat, and your shoulders stay rolled back and down. We come up, squeeze the glutes, okay? Keep it going. Set your own pace here. You got this. And count those reps. I want you to meet or beat them. You know the drill. Meet or beat them every time. Get a little stronger. Every single exercise, every single rep. Three, two, and one. Take a moment to breathe. <sighs> Let it out. Okay, so now we're gonna take it down to the mat. We're gonna do kettlebell line chest press plus a lat pull over. That's a mouthful, let me just show you, okay? So, feet flat on the ground, point those toes forward, grab your bell, flip the bell up towards you, and then we're gonna put it right on the chest and we're gonna lay it all the way back, nice, slow, and controlled. And from this lying position, back is flat, make sure your lower lumbar is flat against your mat, and then I need you to press up, and then we're gonna take the bell overhead so we're doing a lat pull over here. So arms stay straight, you're gonna feel this in your lats. So where you're feeling this is right here in your lats. 
arms are nice and stretched out, and then you're gonna come all the way back up and then bring the bell back to your chest and then press again. You got eight seconds to go. One more lat pull over here, overhead, pull it back right when you feel that pull in your lap, bring the bell back to your chest and rest. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do a kettlebell bent over row with one bell. So just kind of like we were doing those deadlifts, you're gonna get in that same position. Toes point forward, feet are hip width distance. Then we're gonna hinge forward. We're gonna make sure our shoulders are back, rolled back, back is flat. And then we just pull the bell right underneath our chest right there. Straight up, pull, squeeze between the shoulder blades and release. And we stay in this position throughout the entire exercise. So pull, elbows come up, squeeze between the shoulder blades. You have 25 seconds to go. If you ever need a break, you can just stand up, shake it out a bit, and then drop back in. So pull straight up, squeeze between those shoulder blades, and release. Let's see how many reps we can get. Pick up the pace a little bit right here for the last 10 seconds. You got this, team. Come on. Eight seconds. Breathe. Pull. Pause. And release. You got this. Three, two, one. Awesome work, team. Okay, now we have line kettlebell toe tap. So we're gonna take it down to the mat. We're gonna sit it back. Grab that kettlebell at your chest. Lay all the way back. Slow and controlled when you go back. Now, feet are gonna go up in the air. Make sure that back is flush against your mat. And we're gonna take the kettlebell, arms stretch out, and we just reach for those toes. We're just reaching like we're gonna tap those toes up and down. So it's a baby crunch, just a little weighted baby crunch here with the kettlebell. So sit it up, reach that bell for the toes, reach and release. Awesome, if that's too much, you can just stay here and hold without the crunch. You got 15 seconds to go. So either you're here reaching for the toes or you're holding. You can also bring your knees down and you can just keep your feet flat on the ground and just do baby crunches here too. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, team, are you ready? It's time for our core. So we have our cardio kettlebell toe tap. So I want you to put your bell right in front of you, right in front of your mat, and we're going to tap our toes. So. You can just do it standing here, tapping, or you can pick up the pace. All right, we got 45 seconds. So here's picking up the pace. This is a cardio toe tap workout. So I do want you to really get your heart rate up. This is how we finish round one. So if you've noticed, we have six exercises, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Keep it going. We do a squat. We do a hinge. We do a push, pull, core and cardio every single time. So we're getting the whole body, 15 seconds to go. If you need to, you can take it down a notch and just tap it here. Good, you got eight seconds team, come on. Breathe, push, tap it, tap it. Two, one, and breathe. Amazing, let's take an inhale. 